What's up everyone and welcome to day four of our Maldives fishing trip. Ooh, that was kind of crazy. Anyway, we're going to a brand new atoll again today. Apparently here yeah, there are quite a lot of bonefish and even a shot at permit is possible. As always, there are giant trevally and bluefin. So let's go fishing. on sandy bottom they eat spawning shrimps and all flex so crabs pillow talks but ain't no rabs yeah <laughs> you gotta cast that eight weight out to them they gotta hook him and let him swim but I have to pack my bag otherwise I'm gonna live and fish on this drag yeah I got too excited when I was tailing a GT and um, I didn't put full fingered gloves on and GTs have very sharp scoots on the side of their, or right where their body enters their tail, right before their tail. And I held it and it was sort of fine and as it kicked it just cut my fingers. Yes, come on. Ching chong cha. Okay. Ching chong cha. Ching chong cha. fish of the day yeah first fish in the morning a little snapper we're just walking along these these flats seeing what we can see we saw the little bow wake so we threw just ahead of him and this little guy snapped up this little shrimp good bye boy i wasted my fish shots on this guy that's it uh, well fish is a fish man now pierre gets the rod oh that's it that's me now Second fish of the morning and uh, quick release. Quick release, distance release. <laughs> it's hard to see on this turtle grass flat. We're just waiting to see any bow wakes or tails coming up. Because it's overcast, it's really hard to see. So I'm seeing some tails coming up there on the bank the whole time. So maybe you can get a shot in there, Chris. species for the morning, a little rock cod, Looks a pair of teeth on him, devoured this little shrimp. So what are we doing right now? Right now we are stalking the flats looking for bones or permit or anything of decent size and we're just throwing at any sort of movement that we see on top of the water, any bow wakes, any fins, any disturbances because okay. the glare is still quite hectic this morning so we're just looking for disturbances on top of the water. Sweet. But yeah, fun until we 
coming to the big boys. There he goes. This is not a real trigger fish, but it is a trigger fish. It's called a Picasso trigger. How beautiful is that? That it's like a hard bone there on the top. And what's interesting is it has these scoots on the side. It's like super rough. If you go in the opposite direction, if you rub your finger in the opposite direction. I'm just gonna take out the fly. And then it's Chris's turn. Let's get him back in the water. First trigger fish of the trip, actually. Yeah, true, but I'm not gonna claim this one. This is what we call a Coke can, very small. I like Coke. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> Fish, man. Thank you so much. Let's get him on the reel. Yeah. Yeah, nice fish on the flats. Yeah, sight fished it. Very awesome. Just you could see this fish coming from so far away. Epic. Yo, there we go. Yeah, it's a beautiful bluefin. Yeah, beautiful, eh? But a dark fish, hey you. It's so much fun on the Snowy 8 weight. It's, it's not a massive fish, but it's perfect for an 8 weight. Good size bluefin. Yeah, it's a nice Very fish. Nice. It's going into spasms. There you are. No, that's not, that's not it. <laughs> Just see. <laughs> yes! <laughs> How's that on an eight weight? Very beautiful lucky, fish, eh? Beautiful. We had a That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful. Well done, my boy. Very nice. That's fish. So we're stalking these sandy flats with turtle grass mounds around and then saw him from afar from about 20 meters, 30 meters and he was cruising in our direction. And uh, when he was in casting range, just propped this little spawning shrimp, um, maybe five meters in front of him. He saw it, sped up to it, stripped it a bit, and then he just sat down and ate it. Send her off. Go call your big cousin the Jeep. We fished the first flat this morning and we caught some bluefin trevally and yellow spot trevally. Unfortunately, we couldn't get some bonefish or permit. We didn't see any permit. Now we move to other flats, seeing that it's high tide, and we're fishing this tiny little island that is just made from the whitest sand you've ever seen. So let's see what we can catch. Well, Marius just caught this beautiful unicorn fish on the flat. So obviously, being a unicorn fish, it's not necessarily because they're that scarce. They are quite scarce. You don't really see them that often. But I mean, it's got a unicorn in front of its head, which is kind of cool. Very unique looking fish. Did you find lacquer, Marius? Yeah, it's a powerful little fish, but it doesn't take long to disappear it. Look how beautiful that tail is. Yeah, it's got some sharp scoots.
we lost that fee. We lost that fee. We've been out floating out here for days. <laughs> we ate one GT. Is there any fish we caught? We're about to eat Marius. We, uh, <laughs> they did say it was catch and release, but we're going to release him later. <sighs> and bits and pieces. And that's the end of our fourth day here in Maldives. The swell was down and the conditions were very glassy. For that reason, we moved out from the reef where we would normally catch or try and catch giant trevally, and we moved into the flats. And here we caught a heckler of bluefin, even caught unicorn fish and giant trevally. We also found a nice school of bluefin feeding in the deep hole. Just a quick rundown of the rods that we used on the flats. This is the Snowy Spectre RMX 8 weight saltwater predator, and it's teamed up with my Shilton SL5. And my 10 weight is a Snowy Prestige GXS 10 weight saltwater rod. It's a brand new rod that Snowy just released, and that is teamed up with the Spectre 9 to 10 weight reel. A really smooth reel with a lot of stopping power. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications if you would like to see what we get up to on day 5 of our Maldives fishing trip. Until next time, cheers.